Hello, this is Goku System One, and I'm back this time to do a review of The Hobbit, An Unexpected Journey. This is the first of three planned Hobbit movies. Uh, ne uh, next one is going to be next year, and then the year after that will be the last one. Uh, here and back again. Now, if you don't know, The Hobbit was originally a 300-page book. That's how they turned into three films. Obviously, this is only the first one I'm reviewing, and I kind of feel uneasy reviewing a third of a movie because it is a third of a movie, so uh, hopefully this won't be a spoiler. Go in understanding that you're not going to get an ending. This film does not end because you're only getting one third of a movie. Now, the plot of the movie is that this dragon uh, steals the homeland and all the treasure from the dwarves and the dwarven prince gets a campaign together and is missing the final member um and finally finds it um in a hobbit named bilbo baggins um along with gandalf uh and uh, a bunch of dwarves 13 i believe uh go on this epic quest to get their homeland back um, they basically this movie is all about traveling you go to many many places this film goes all over middle earth i mean i really this place it's just really expansive and they filmed in new zealand like the first uh, like the lord of the rings did and it feels real because they actually because when you're on a mountain they most likely filmed it on a mountain this is not a lot of green screening and stuff like that obviously they do do that stuff you cannot do a film this scale without doing a lot of without without a lot of green screen and stuff like that but when they use it it's used to effect the creatures in this film which there are a lot of them from trolls goblins and orcs there are oh there are so many and, and they're awesome they're fantastic you really get to see them and meet them and you really get to feel part of this world. And there are also some more, more heroic characters, um, along with uh, the elves. The elves do play a minor part of the film, and they're cool, and you get to see Rivendale in this film again. Uh, so this is just a really fun adventure movie. You really get to explore Middle Earth again, and it's great to come back to this world. And they bring you back into familiar territory because the film actually starts out with uh with older bilbo baggins um and you get to see and you get to see uh frodo and that and that's a good way to bridge you back in give you familiar characters and then get you into the movie because other than bilbo baggins and gandalf most of the major characters in this film are brand new so you don't get a lot of the familiar in this film uh, you do get familiar, and if you've seen all the Lord of the Rings, there are going to be things that you're going to go, wow, that's great, to get to see that again. It's like going back to a high school reunion. Um, things look different, but things look familiar. There is so much familiar here. Um, this film is is really good. It's not a great film, uh, but it is only the introduction to a much larger thing. This has to set up a lot of pieces. So a lot of the time that this film is setting up pieces, it can't be setting up a good movie. Uh, my favorite Lord of the Rings film is Two Towers. It's not The Fellowship of the Ring. Because The Fellowship of the Ring is about getting things in place so you can get into the better, the bigger and the more epic stuff in the later films. This very much is that. Uh, and they will be adding stuff to this because, as I said earlier, it's... This is a two and a half hour film, but it's a third of a 300 page book. So there's a lot that I don't know how much I never read the book. I don't know how much of this is actually from the book. Uh, this feels like it probably is majority from the book. I don't think they added a lot in this movie. I think the other movies are going to add, add more to it because this film actually was finished um, hopefully this won't be a spoiler. This film was actually finished 
before they decided to split it up into three. When they had cut this film, that's when they decided to split up the three. So I don't think there's a whole lot added here. There's obviously something added here, uh, but I don't think there's a whole lot. I do recommend this film. I give it an 7.5 to an 8 out of 10. Um, I highly do recommend this film. I think it's a really good film. It's just that you're getting a third of a film. That's the biggest negative of this film. It's nothing against the film. It's reality. It is one third of a film. This was Goku for the Sim 1. Please leave a comment or a video response. Tell me what you think about this film. Tell me if you've seen the Lord of the Rings films. If you like this universe. And uh, if you're wanting to watch this film. And I'll see you next time. YouTube.